Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us see how to find out sine of a quadratic polynomial or a function. Let us say ax square plus bx plus c is a quadratic polynomial and alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. Then we know that we can write down ax square plus bx plus c is equal to a into x minus alpha into x minus beta. Let us also consider the case that alpha is always greater than beta. Now, now how we can say about the sign of the quadratic polynomial if we know that a sign of a we know because a is positive or negative. Now, how it the relation between the sign of a quadratic polynomial and sign of a that is what we are interested in. Now, there are three cases arise because when you take alpha and beta are zeros, then we have a scenario where according to the nature of roots that is nothing but discriminant is greater than zero. In this case, both the roots are real and they are unique and I have discriminant equal to zero. In this case, both the roots alpha and beta are equal and I have another case where discriminant is less than zero where there are no real roots exist. Now, let us take the first scenario. Suppose I take the first scenario. In the first scenario, we have b square minus 4ac is greater than zero. And we know that in this case, alpha is not equal to beta. If alpha is not equal to beta, then there are three scenarios that can arise. One, that x is less than beta. The second case is where x is between beta and alpha. And the third scenario is where x is greater than alpha. Now, let us say the first scenario where x is less than beta. If x is less than beta, then we know that x minus beta is less than 0. Since alpha is greater than beta, we also know that x minus alpha is also less than 0. So, in this case, what will happen to a into x minus alpha into x minus beta? It will become a into negative into negative that is equals to a sin of that will be equal to sin of a. Can we write down sin of a because minus into minus is plus. Now, let us go to the second scenario. In the second scenario, what will happen to the expression a into x minus alpha into x minus beta? We know that x is greater than beta. That means x minus beta is greater than 0 x is less than alpha that means x minus alpha is less than 0. So, that will become a into x minus alpha is negative and x minus beta is positive that means it is becoming minus of sin of a. Now, let us take the other case where x is greater than alpha. In this case, x is greater than alpha that means x is also greater than beta that means x minus alpha is greater than 0. Also, we know that x minus beta is greater than 0. Now, what will happen to the expression a into x minus alpha into x minus beta? We know a as it is x minus alpha is positive, x minus beta is positive. So, that will have the same sign of a. So, what we understood fr with from our discussion is that when x is between alpha and beta, then the sign of the quadratic polynomial and this will be exactly opposite to sign of the coefficient of x square term. And the other two scenarios, it will be equal to the sign of the coefficient of x square term. So, this is about b square minus 4ac greater than 0. Now, let us go to the second scenario. In the second scenario, we have b square minus 4ac equal to 0. That means, we know that alpha equal to beta. 
So, what will happen to our expression? It will become polynomial will be a into x minus alpha into x minus beta will become again x minus alpha. So, can I write it as a into x minus alpha whole square? Now, you know that x minus alpha whole square is always positive. So, this is also equal to the sign of a. So, in this case, the sign of the quadratic polynomial is equal to the sign of a. Now, let us go to the other scenario where d is less than 0. Now, let us look at the scenario d less than 0. In this scenario, we know that roots are not real. Roots are imaginary. Okay, we are okay that roots are imaginary, but what will be the sign of, what will be the sign of a x square plus b x plus c? Is it equal to the sign of a or is it opposite to the sign of a? For that, what we will do? We will take the expression given to us that is a in x square plus b x plus c. Now, I cannot say about alpha and beta. So, we have to manipulate this only because we know that b square minus 4 a c is always less than 0. Now, in this scenario, what we will do? This is the third scenario we are taking where discriminant is less than 0. Now, can I write this as a into x square plus b by a into x plus c by a? Now, can I do completing the squares and write it as x plus b by 2a whole square plus c by a minus b square by 4a square. That is equal to a into x plus b by 2a whole square plus 4ac minus b square divided by 4a square. So, we have a into, I will write down here, x plus b by 2a whole square plus 4ac minus b square divided by 4a square. Now, we know that x plus b by 2a whole square is always positive and we know b square minus 4ac is less than 0. That means 4ac minus b square is positive. So, positive plus positive is positive. That means, the sign of a x square plus b x plus c in this scenario, sign is equal to sign of coefficient of x square a. So, now from this discussion, what we had by considering the three scenarios, one where discriminant is greater than 0, in the other case where discriminant is equal to 0, and the third scenario where discriminant is less than 0, zero what we understood is, Whenever the x value is between alpha and beta, that means it is between the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. In such scenario, the quadratic polynomial sign is opposite to the sign of A. In the remaining scenarios, the sign is the same as that of sign of A. So, let us summarize this and write down what we understood. So, this is a summary of whatever the discussion we had till now, what we have discussed. So, what we understood is sin of a x square plus b x plus c is same as, same as that of sin of a for all values of x for all values of x for all values of a actually I should say sin of a x square plus b x plus c is same as that of sin of a for all values of x except when x lies between between alpha and beta or can I say the zeros zeros of the quadratic polynomial so, this is the summary what we had. So, sin of a quadratic polynomial will be is the same as the sin of 
quotient of x square a for all values of x except when x lies between alpha and beta because we have seen when x lies between alpha and beta x minus beta is positive and x minus alpha is negative so the sign of expression in this scenario will be opposite to the sign of a so this is the summary we had now how to find out the sign of a quadratic function so what are the steps we have to do before we go there let us summarize this the sign of a x square plus b x plus c is same as that of sign of a for all values of x except when x lies between alpha and beta so when x is between alpha and beta the sign is minus of a other than that the sign of expression is equal to the sign of a now how to find out now what is the steps we have to do to find out the sign of a quadratic function suppose they have given us one example how to do that the first step what we have to do we have to find out the zeros find the zeros that means alpha and beta next identify or identify the sign of quotient of x square that is a identify the sign of quotient of x square that means sign of a we want now the third for all values of x between that means beta less than x less than alpha for all values of x such that beta less than x less than alpha the sign so we have to find out the values then after that what we will do once we found out the values of alpha and beta we find out we found out that the sign of quotient of x square after that other than where beta less than x less than alpha there the sign is opposite to that of sign of a so can i write down here beta less than x less than alpha the sign is minus of a when x is when x is uh, for all remaining scenarios i can say that is equal to sign of a this is sign of minus a when it is x between alpha and beta otherwise it's a sign of a so let's do one simple example based on this so suppose we have been asked to find the sign of 6x square plus x minus 2 how will we solve this we write it we say that this is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c where a equal to 6 b equal to 1 and c equals to minus 2 now which scenario this comes first we have to find out alpha and beta for this now sum is plus 1 and product is minus 12 so i can use splitting the middle terms or i can also do with quadratic formula let's do splitting middle term now sum is plus 1 and product is minus 12 easy for us so can i write it as plus 4 and minus 3 let me write down here 6x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 2 can i write down 2x into 3x plus 2 minus 1 into 3x plus 2 you can also use directly the quadratic formula and you can find out that from this i know x equals to 1 by 2 or x equals to minus 2 by 3 we identified that the zeros are 1 by 2 and minus 2 by 3 now the sign of the function will be when x is between minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 2 sign is negative sign is negative because a is positive a is positive so sign will be negative for the quadratic polynomial when for all other values for all other values that is positive for all other values on the real number line number line we have 
the sign of the quadratic polynomial is positive. So, look at this example. Find the sign of 2x square minus 3x plus 2. Now, how to do this? First, let's find out what is a value 2, b is minus 3 and c equal to 2. Let's find out discriminant that is b square minus 4ac value which is equal to minus 3 whole square minus 4 into 2 into 2 that is 9 minus 16 that is minus 7 that means discriminant is negative. We know that when d less than 0 for all scenarios we know that ax square plus bx plus c and a will have same sign. We have gone through that couple of minutes back. A will have same in this session. A will have same sign. So, what is the sign of A now? The sign of A is A is 2. That is positive. So, the sign of 2x square minus 3x plus 2 is always positive. We can also prove this in another way. You can write it as completing the squares method and you can write down 2 into x square minus 3 by 2x plus 1. Can I can write it as 2 into, can I complete the squares and write down x minus 3 by 4 whole square plus 1 minus 9 by 16 and I simplify that can I simplify that and write it as 2 into x minus 3 by 4 whole square plus 7 by 16 now we know that 7 by 16 is positive. We also know x minus 3 by 4 whole square is positive. So, everything is positive. So, it is the sign of ax square plus bx plus c or 2x square minus 3x plus 2 is always positive. We can also do this way also. We can say that discriminant is less than 0. In this case, for all scenarios, a will have same sign as that of ax square plus bx plus c. So, in this session, we try to understand how to find out the sign of a quadratic polynomial or function ax square plus bx plus c. To summarize, what we understood is, if alpha, beta are zeros of ax square plus bx plus c, now only in the interval where x is between alpha and beta, there the sign of the quadratic polynomial will be minus that of negative that of sin of quotient of x square or a. For all remaining interval that means or for all values of x on the number line the quotient of x square or a sign and the sin of a x square plus b x plus c will be the same which we have seen how to prove that and also we have seen some examples based on that.